Hey, what's up, users? This is John here uh, with Muse for You, here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in today's video tutorial, I'm really excited to be showcasing this new widget that I've created. Uh, it's called the Font Smoother, and I feel it's a game changer. Uh, when I first started using Adobe Muse, uh, one of my first thoughts was the fonts look a little bit clunky. Um, you know, I'd go to these other websites and the fonts would just be really smooth and really nice. And in Adobe Muse, the fonts weren't as smooth and I always wondered why. And so I decided to take it upon myself to make a widget that makes the font smooth and makes it look like some of these really high class websites and these really high quality websites. Because uh, I feel Adobe Muse has um, these great effects and, you know, with widgets, and these scroll effects and everything you can do a lot with Adobe Muse. So I wanted the standard of the fonts to be kind of the the standard of um, the quality of the effects so that you could have like this really awesome website. Um, so yeah, it, I feel it's a game changer for me. I'm gonna use it in all my websites. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the widget in the Muse for You shop. So I'll go to um, museforyoushop.com and I'll click on shop now and I'll scroll down here and here it is it's called font smoother and I'll click on it and then you can simply add to cart uh, to purchase the widget and you can leave feedback and comments here so I'll just open up my Adobe Muse website and show you how it works so I'll go to file new site and I'll click OK then I'll open up the website here and then I'll just pick some font here I'll just create some font um, I'll do kind of zebra wood. This is kind of uh, an extreme example, but I'll, I'll showcase it. Um, so I'm going to say welcome to Muse for you. And I'll make it really big. Yeah, I want to make I'll make it really big so you can see the difference um, in this video. So there it is. Welcome to Muse for you. Now I'll hit command shift E to preview. This is before the font smoother so we can see it there. And now I'll go to my library panel. Uh, if you don't see your library panel, you can simply go to window, click on library, and uh, it'll bring the library panel up. So now I'll go to Muse for You Font Smoother. So we have Font Smoother Light and Font Smoother Heavy. Um, so Font Smoother Light is just your standard font smoothing. So I'll click, hold, and drag and place it onto my Adobe Muse website. And here you have uh, font smoothing from, you can go from zero to nine. Um, and you, you'll probably barely notice the difference, but for different fonts, you might wanna play with this and see uh, what uh, level of smoothing works best for that font. Um, I'll just leave it at four, cause I think four will work well for this. So I'll hit Command Shift E and there it is. So there it is with the font smoothing. So here's before without the font smoothing and here's with the font smoothing. So hopefully in this video uh, tutorial, you'll be able to notice the difference, um, but there's quite a difference in the smoothness of the font, which I really love. Um, I love like, yeah, smooth fonts. It's just awesome. Um, so I'll show you an another example. I'll just pick another font. Um, let's do like this one and we'll do a before. So I'll delete the uh, widget there. I'll hit Command Shift D. So there's the before, and then I'll bring the widget back in and there's the after. So you can see it's, you know, you can kind of notice the difference. Um, if I do it quickly, you'll notice the difference. But these subtle uh, differences can really make your website even that much more elegant and attractive. And that's why I really like this widget. Um, so that's the font smoother light. And, you know, you, I could even go to nine to make it smoother. And now it's even smoother uh, there. Yeah, you'll ba barely notice the difference unless you really look. Uh, but overall, I mean, it does have a difference with the whole web design or the whole website as a whole. Um, so now I'll do the font smoother heavy. And here we can do like really heavy smoothing. So like I'll do one. And there it's, it's quite smooth. You can really notice like the edges are really smooth. Um, and I'll do like point like five. So here you can you have more options. You can go up to uh, 10, I believe. And you'll notice if I go to 10, like it's really like, yeah, it's really smooth. Um, so yeah, it's just like you playing around with um, 
which widget you want to use and how much smoothness you want to add to the font. Um, so I'll just go through a different font here. Um, yeah, I'll do sample regular. There we go. And that, that has a lot of uh, smoothness on it. Um, so like I'll do like 0.5. And there it is, looks nice. And if I do like, you can go to uh, two decimal places. Um, so you have a lot of control over how much smoothness you want to add. And if I delete it, you know, you can kind of tell the difference. Yeah, so like this is it without um, the widget and this is it with the widget. So it like tightens it up, makes it smoother, makes it really nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you play with it because I don't know how much you can really see in the video tutorial. Uh, but yeah, for me, it's a game changer. Um, I really, really enjoyed making it. And the fact that I made I made it and I feel like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of cut my sentence, but um, I'll be using this widget all the time. Like, you know, it's cool that I can offer it to everyone. But for me, it's like I'm so glad I made it because like I always wanted to like if you go to like, like websites like a w w w a awards.com with three w's and you just go through some of the sites you'll notice that the fonts are really beautiful and now you can achieve that with adobe muse so this is for me like with adobe muse being like starting to become responsive and this uh the font smoother widget i feel like the sky is the limit with adobe muse and it's just like so much fun building websites with adobe muse um so i i think that's it for this video um again you just go to museforyoushop.com and it's um, it'll be on the home page and you ju just click font smoother or like you go to muse for you shop .com, shop now then click on font smoother and add to cart and you can download it um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video tutorial um, I've been working a lot with the new pre-release of Adobe Muse um, I can't say much about it yet because it's still a pre-release uh, but I will tell you that I've been working with it, working the ins and outs, seeing what works and just feeling out the whole responsive design of the new pre-release. And I'm really, really excited to show you that when it comes out. Um, it is a game changer and Adobe Muse is going to be responsive and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. And yeah, it's just awesome. So that's coming out. I've been working a lot on widgets. There's also this uh, dialogue effects widget that I came out with. I haven't made a video yet, but you can go to the preview section. There's a time lapse video you can watch. And um, there's this dialogue effect here. So you can add dialogue effects to your Adobe Muse website. Um, so yeah, that's uh, kind of another widget that I've, been, that I've created. And I'll make a video for that as well. And I'm also thinking about a subscription model for my widgets. Um, I've, I've been making quite a few widgets and I think a subscription model uh, would be great for those that want all the widget, widgets and want to continue to keep getting the widgets that I create. So that should be coming up fairly soon as well. I'm kind of looking at that at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick update on everything I've been doing. I've been working with Adobe Muse a lot, a lot and making widgets and working with the pre-release and Adobe Muse, the, the version now, you know, making, um, you know, making the templates of my widgets a little bit more informative and kind of cooler and easier to navigate. And yeah, just a bunch of fun stuff. So yeah, I'm excited to be doing all this and uh, stay tuned. Uh, there'll be more videos to come. I'm also doing the five minute series where you can quickly get information on Adobe Muse. So I'm excited about doing that. Um, yeah, so check out the font smoother widget, which is what this video is about. But I just wanted to give you a quick update on everything else that I'm doing. So thanks everyone for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Um, check out the links to show more below. There's links to more resources. Uh, there's links to my widgets and other resources. You can check out my Patreon page and become a patron of my video creation process. And uh, yeah, you can check out museforyoushop.com. And I do all this to help you create awesome websites without code which is what I like. Yeah, th that's why I make these videos and the wi these widgets because I know what it's like to learn code and wanting to create these really awesome websites. So I feel like, you know, offering this and helping you make awesome websites without code is really cool and I enjoy it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Bye.